Cooking Lesson 101. So, here's my challenge that I took upon myself. A lot of people have been saying that, you know, The Miz shouldn't be the WWE Champion. And clearly, WWE felt the same way too, because they just... I didn't even watch the pay-per-view <laughs> until the ending. <laughs> and can we just say that nobody likes anybody back there? Security guards, referees, no one wants to help the Fiend and stop Randy Orton from committing a crime. <laughs> and they replace a fake body to burn the Fiend. You tell me, which is worse? Uh, swapping bodies or giving Rey Mysterio a Mr. Potato Head eye? <laughs> Anyways. Uh, so... I'm going to tell you how I would have had the Miz win the WWE Championship. Because I want to see how you guys feel. Whether you would think that this would be a good idea or not. Now, don't start writing in the comments, this is awful, before you even listen. Give it a shot. Give it a chance. So, we come to tonight, everything's the same as normal. <clears throat> Drew McIntyre... Beats AJ Styles, you know, he captures the WWE Championship. And then Sheamus comes out to celebrate with his friend. He raises his hand. And then at one point, you know, Sheamus hands Drew the WWE Championship. Drew's like, yeah, celebrating this way. And then he turns around. Boom. Bro kick. Right to the face. Everyone's like, what? What the heck? Even though you and I both all saw it coming. And Seamus is like, he's disgusted with himself. But he does it again. Drew gets up, bro kick again. And then Seamus, he picks up the championship title. He smacks Drew in the head with the championship. And then Seamus holds the championship over the ropes. And he just lets it go. Because that's the thing. Sheamus does not care about the championship. Or keep that in mind during this whole beatdown. Sheamus could have posed with the championship and said, I'm coming for this or something like that. He didn't. He just picked up the title, threw it to the ground, basically saying, this means nothing to me. <clears throat> um, Sheamus goes out of the ring, picks up a microphone, and he just says, come on, Miz, go do it. Excuse me. Um, and on cue, Miz goes in, cashes in. He goes for the pinfall on Drew. One, two, Drew kicks out because we've got to make Drew look strong still. Miz goes for a skull crushing finale, hits it. One, two, and at two and a half, Drew gets the shoulder up again. Then at a certain point, Drew McIntyre just gets to his feet and goes... Bam! For the Glasgow's kiss. Um, Morrison grabs the WWE Championship. He slides in the ring. The referee is, you know, distracted by Morrison. You know, he's telling, he grabs the championship. He says, get out of here, you. Get out of here, you. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, you know, Miz is exposing the top turnbuckle. Um, and, you know, I'm kind of flipped around here. I'm sorry. But, uh... We'll say that uh, while uh, the Glasgow kiss comes before, so Miz, so while Morrison is distracting the referee, Miz is taking off the uh, turnbuckle pad in one of the corners. And then the ref kicks Morrison out to get him onto the back onto the floor. Because Morrison's like, hey, I did my part. And uh, McIntyre hits the Glasgow's kiss. He's going into the corner to set up for the Claymore. He does not look at Sheamus because he's too focused on staying champion. He's not caring about what just transpired. <clears throat> and Drew's going to go running to do the Claymore kick, but he just suddenly he stops and he falls down. He's clutching at his head because keep this in mind, McIntyre has taken like three broke kicks a uh, skull crushing finale. He's taken a uh, championship belt to the head. So he is messed up. He is hurting bad. <coughs> a little 
little tickle in my throat there. I think I did too much uh, Seamus impression there. Went too hard on that. So Miz is like, what the hell with this? And he just picks up McIntyre, hits the skull crushing finale into the exposed turnbuckle, which in the end of the day is basically just ramming the guy's head into it. But that's the finish. One, two, three. Miz celebrates with the Dota Championship. And so the next night of Raw, we come to Morrison opening the show. And he says, you're a new WWE champion, The Miz. You know, with more um, excitement than that. But I'm not, <laughs> I had a tickle in the throat, so I'm not going to try to do any more impressions, really. Miz comes out, and there's no sunglasses. He's, because we're, we're taking away the comedy. There's no more, you know, moneymaker Miz, really. We're going to slow down. We're going to, you know, take that back a little bit. Because we're going to go back to the Miz of, um, like, 2011, 2012. It was more 2011, I believe. Miz comes out in a suit, the WWE Championship over his shoulder. And Miz is going to brag. He's going to be like, I told you. I told you it was going to happen. You all doubted me. You didn't believe in me. Why? Why would any of you doubt me? I am a former... WWE Champion, former Money in the Bank contract holder, and what happened? I won both times, and I won. I won once, and I'm and I won last night. Why would you doubt me? You know who never doubted me? I'll tell you who. My wife Maurice. She never doubted me. My kids never doubted me, and more importantly than that, and John Morrison's like waiting for. He's like, I'm waiting for it. And Miz is like, I never doubted me. And then Morris is like, yeah, I, I never doubted you either. And then Miz just looks at him and goes, yeah, no, I know. I was going to mention you. Don't worry, man. Of course I was going to mention you. Because we're planting the seeds there. The Miz is going to start caring about only the Miz. Because that championship is going to transform it to where Miz sees it only as this is my title. I did this. I made this happen. And the only support I need is my wife and my kids. John, you're just along for the ride. Hey, buddy. I'll come come with me. It's okay. And John, you know, he wants to be the supportive friend. Because we're going to slowly take it where Miz is going to be the ultimate heel. John's going to be the heel for now. But eventually he's going to be like, dude, what about me in the situation? So... We're going to get to it where eventually there's going to be a split where the Miz is going to be, you know, furious at John for trying for John trying to be like, you know, dude, me, 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 you know, don't forget to include me. Miz is going to get annoyed, turn his back on him, and eventually they'll feud. Maybe they can take this feud to WrestleMania. I don't know. Um, but you might be wondering, well, what's going to happen with Sheamus and Drew McIntyre? Drew is going to be in the locker room. <clears throat> Sheamus... Is gonna come up to Drew, because remember, Sheamus does not care about the championship belt, so Sheamus is just gonna go right up to McIntyre, and McIntyre is gonna see him, and he goes like, "You owe me an explanation, and you're lucky that I don't kick your ass right now." And Sheamus is like, "I know you're furious, but look at what that championship has done to you. It's done nothing but hurt our friendship." You've done nothing for me. Like, when it was me getting beaten down, you weren't there. You're so scared about not being fully 100% to defend your championship. You're forgetting about me. You're not helping me. When I when you're in trouble, I have your back. I've always had your back. But now, when the roles are reversed, you're not there. Do you know what I want for us, Drew? I want you and I to team up one more time. And we just dominate the tag team division together. You and I, just like we would. And Drew looks at him. He goes, I know that's what you want. I can't. You call, me, you call yourself my friend? A friend is someone who supports him. Whether it be with his words or his actions. And yeah, maybe I didn't, you know, I, didn't, I wasn't there for you 100% of the time. But you should have talked to me man to man. Not do what you did last night. Which is why, because of our friendship, 
I'm not beating your ass right now. I'm gonna wait till later on tonight. You know what needs to happen. And Seamus just goes, if it needs to happen, it needs to happen. And then we get to the match. I'm just gonna skip to the end. They're having this match, and Seamus, he rolls up Drew McIntyre, grabbing the trunks and everything, and Seamus just, he grabs the microphone quickly, and he says, Drew, Drew, I know you're pissed. I know you're pissed. But this, I did this for us. I had to, to end this. I had to finish this. This match does not need to happen. I had to finish this because I don't want to fight you. And Drew says, you're right. We are going to finish this. We're going to finish it. It's either going to happen next week or the week after that. Or I will be seeing you in the Royal Rumble. And rest assured, my friend, you will be the first one I throw out of the ring. Either that or, like I said, they'll just have some, uh, they'll just have some match where Drew beats him. And that's the end of that story. So I can go into more detail about, you know, who The Miz could feud with and things like that. Because we're going to take away Drew McIntyre from feuding with um, The Miz. Because that doesn't need to happen. Because what should happen is Drew McIntyre goes to the Royal Rumble, wins the Royal Rumble, and he goes after Roman Reigns. Picture that. Drew McIntyre, he's like, I could go after that WWE Championship. I could take it back from Miz after he stole it from me. But where's the fun in that? When I have unfinished business with you, Roman, I'm coming to Claymore to kick your freaking head off. Picture that. So you've got The Miz and John Morrison possibly wrestling at WrestleMania. You know. Maurice is back in The Miz's corner. You know, because I think she's just awesome and being the being in that role there, because they play so well together on camera, because they work so well as you know, the power couple duo. At least I think so. And then you have Drew McIntyre, Roman Reigns, clash once more. You know, and Jay Uso's band, Jimmy Uso's band. You know, if Jimmy's back by that time, who knows? But. Just picture that WrestleMania card. Sounds pretty cool in my opinion. And I watched Sheamus doing well at WrestleMania when McIntyre is there getting ready for his match against Roman Reigns. Sheamus comes up to him backstage and he goes, Listen, I know what happened to us in the past is it's messed up. And I just want to say that I'm sorry for what I did. And I want to wish you good luck tonight. You've, you're going to kick ass out there. And Drew, you know, he just he sticks his hand out. Seamus takes his hand. And they shake hands. And Drew says, I appreciate that. Now, you can stand back here and support me, my friend. And then later on, when I come back with that Universal Championship, you're buying the champ a drink. Seamus says, a drink? I'll buy you a pint, mate. <laughs> so, I don't, know, I don't know. Just picture it how you will. That, you know, you get two great feuds out of this. You get Roman Reigns, Drew McIntyre. You have a great little mini feud with Drew McIntyre and Seamus. The Miz and John Morrison have a feud. You know, we take The Miz back to 2011 where he was talking. You know, he's not making all these goofy comments and movie magic, all this stuff. He's just talking slow and telling you that you were wrong and that I am awesome. And it's about damn time you start recognizing how good I am. So we take a little bit of 2011 Miz and we can take a little bit of 2016 Miz, put it together because don't forget how good the Miz is, you know, in... The roles like when you need him to be this you know comedy character goofy style Miz when he when they tell him what to do he'll do it to the best of his ability but don't forget how good he is on that microphone he can make it work so 
I don't know. You guys tell me whether you think that that would be it would have gotten you interested to see where McIntyre goes, to see the Miz cash in, to see him and Morrison feud over the World Championship to take it to WrestleMania. Because pick because remember. It doesn't have to be that someone goes to win the Royal Rumble to challenge The Miz at WrestleMania. Because McIntyre is going to win the Rumble to take on Roman Reigns. So that leaves open the Raw main event, uh, the Raw World Championship for The Miz and John Morrison at WrestleMania. And McIntyre can again close out WrestleMania to face Drew McIntyre and be the <clears throat> tribal slayer. The king of the table instead of head of the table. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. You know. So, uh, leave your comments down below whether you think that that is a good idea, bad idea. You think, you know, you have to think about it. Or you just think, you know, I'm out of my mind. <laughs> so, make sure to leave a comment of what you felt. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe because there's more to come. Lots more to come. I plan on doing a full takeover of YouTube. I don't know. I don't know what I say sometimes. <laughs> Ciao.